Finishing and polishing should not be a stressful part of any procedure in dentistry when you're building or taking things apart. So what we're going to do is verify our biointegration. In the pink composite burr kit that I developed, there's going to be a very fine flamed yellow diamond. That's called my marginator. Okay, you need something that is not aggressive, something that can verify and go subgingivally without causing trauma and bleeding. In a number six here, what you want to do is perhaps the distal first, the mesial second, and then the curvilinear, the arc of the gingiva, and just make sure that you don't have any debris. We're gonna have it on, a, on an angle of maybe 30 degrees. With that fine tip, you go right into the sulcus, go one way, and then back the other. On basic finishing and polishing, we're going to use one gloss. This is a one-step finisher and polisher from Shofu. This is a luminous oxide. When you start touching the models and you want to polish, it's the same thing as the marginator. Be very careful and take the tip and verify the contours. Bring it up and then the last is go back and forth and do the cervical margin. When you're doing the one gloss polishing here, you can engage more of the barrel of the aluminous oxide. And that's how you do basic polishing. Intermediate finishing and polishing. Not all discs are created equal. What I like about the Shofu Super Snap line, they have silicon carbide, which is the black disc. This is for contouring, this is at 60 microns. They have the violet silicon carbide at 30 microns. This is a reduction in grit. And then they have the green aluminous oxide for polishing. This is at 20 microns. And then they have the traditional red super snap disc, which has aluminous oxide for final polish at seven microns. What this is on these Super Snap buff disc and the Super Snap mini buff disc, these are special because what these have are a synthetic velvet polishing cloth that's actually on the, the disc itself. Very fine quality uh, polishing particles, aluminous oxide. What we're going to do is take the extreme disc green. Where are you going to put that? Well, it's hard to take a disc and kind of go into the facial contour because you're surrounded by tissue. So on this one, on the green, just like we did the marginator with the diamond, we can come back and actually go through and do the axial adjustment. And you really can't go subgingival. I can just touch those axial margins, those lateral borders. I can take this and just buff the top of it. Here's a good tip. You can take the green disc. Remember, this has a sulcus. You can take that green disc and put it at the base of the sulcus and just clean it up. Again, you can take the Super Snap Extreme Red, identify your margins, you can go over the top and check your curvature. It actually gives you a, a luster in itself. So this is intermediate polishing. Okay, let's talk about artistic finishing and polishing. The kit that I developed for Shofu, the Artistic Composite Kit, this has some burrs in here we can use for texturing, microtexture, and more definitive uh, finishing and polishing. We'll talk about that. There's a um, 
a greenstone diamond, which is silicon carbide. There's a host of very fine fluted carbide burrs, 81632 flu fluted. There's an egg-shaped uh, carbide. There is a um, super fine yellow flame uh, diamond that's egg-shaped. We have a barrel cylinder uh, super fine yellow. We have more of a coarse diamond for for prepping and removing tooth structure. And then we, again, we have our marginator diamond that's in the yellow here. Take the egg shape, super fine, um, yellow striped um, diamond. And again, we extend the shank out as far as we can for we have better road fill. When we adjust the contour, what this diamond is good for if we have excessive height on the sulcus, we can actually remove a little bit of that. It's great, it creates a uniform surface. If we want to reverse it, if we want to modify the sulcus, and we want to define the free, free gingival margin, We can come back from the other side and do that. We can define it. We can take a carbide, redefine. This is very nice crevice tool. Redefine the margins. Very delicate stroke. And you can see from the dust What you don't want to do is over contour the pink. And this is a carbide. This will let you get in there as good as the yellow flame diamond, the marginator. You can use that. When you want to use a finer carbide, again, you can go over the sulcus. You can marginate. If you have a little bit of a lip or an overhang here, these are great just to bring that pink material and make it flush with the tooth. Now comes the interesting part. This is called surface texture, micro texture. I want you to look at this toothbrush. This is from Oral B. This is the children's toothbrush. And what's really important is that you see how the bristles go out this way. It's just not a flat brush like most of them are. What you want to do is utilize the very tip of the toothbrush to create the stippling or micro texture. So if this was in the preset stage right here and you want to add a little micro texture, what you do is you can just take the bristles and just do the slight stippling in that. You don't want to go too deep because you'll create divots and that will correct, collect plaque staining. So you can just do some micro texture with a uh, Oral-B kid's toothbrush. Number two, if you take a look at the egg-shaped yellow striped diamond, we can put that in, extend the shank out. You can just use the point of the burr and you can do a variation of stippling. Now number three is gonna be with a slow speed and that's with a silicon carbide or carborundum stone. And what we can do with this, the green stone, which I use in my um, classes for composites, again, you take the tip and not puncture and stab at it. It's a delicate dance with the green stone. For definitive polishing now, we start with the one gloss. Aluminous oxide, you can go inside the sulcus, you can redefine that. You can go around your margins right here. You can marginate that. But I'd stay off the micro texture we just created right there. The Super Buff Mini Disc and the Super Buff Disc, again, are very exclusive to Shofu. These have this, the synthetic velvet cover on them and they're impregnated with luminous oxide. And these can be used as your final polisher and finisher 
but what you want to do is make sure that they have water and abundance of water so I will dip this in the water blot it with my finger and again I'm really dialing down the RPMs it's fine tactile touch go through the sulcus free gingival margin always keep it wet barely touching it the synthetic velvet is really phenomenal when you start using diamond polishing paste not every paste is created equal what you want is submicron diamond polishing paste so what I do is put the polishing medium right here on the pink composite what you need is very light tactile sense it just go over that and buff this out you can take your finger and put some more diamond polishing paste on there you get the submicron diamond polishing paste in the syringe and you get the luminous oxide polishing paste inside the disc itself so you're getting a two for one and that's how you use the artistic polishing mm -hmm.